Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Had a great July 4th, and let's kick into July in a big way. Let's take a look at one of our four agreements here. Let's see what we got up here. Okay. Love is what makes you happy. And if you become a servant of love and your partner becomes a servant of love, the day will come when each of you can, each of you, and the day will come when you can be with each other with no guilt, no blame, no anger, and no sadness. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials right now trading down 241. NASDAQ's up 150, S&P's down six. Gold contract down, trading down $34, $17.66. Silver's off 48 cents, $19.18 an ounce. Light sweet crude, down $9.13 at $99.30. Notes and bonds, a 10-year note, up 18 ticks, trading 119.26. The 30-year up a full point, plus 19 ticks at 140.30. And King Dolly, are you ready for this one, folks, okay? Uh, where are you, King Dolly? It's, I think it's trying to hide on me, folks, because you talk about an expansion. King Dollar, up 1,358 ticks, 106,496. Euro is at 119. Yen's at 135.76. And the British pound is at 119 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, bottom line, you got an S&P that got down today to a price point of uh, 372. You reject lower price, you are going to have lighter volume. Uh, <laughs> so we'll see where this can bounce to. It would have been a lot better if it actually hit the uh, 372.56. The 372.56, folks, is the low that was established out here last Thursday. Hey, we'll see if they can get any juice. So we get a contraction of volume tomorrow, which I suspect we are. This is just a consolidation uh, at lows. We're going to take a look at the NDX 100. The, that, the, now, the NDX, bottom line, does lead you down, does lead you up, all of the above. That was the first one. This, this caught a bit out here, man. There's no doubt. You got the NDX. It rejected 276. You're up 10 points from them. You're at 286. You're only up four points for the day. But the bottom line, that is saying that, you know what, this thing is going to basically get into the last swing, and the last swing up here was 296. Now, the same is applicable on this, however, meaning that what you have here is that you did come down on Thursday, you didn't retest that area. We take this and we put this on, let me see what this looks like on a weekly. Yeah, on a weekly, it's, yeah, this is still just a bounce. On a weekly, you, you got too many high volume lows that uh, bottom line, you know, and you get the ABC structures on the way down. Gold. Well, yeah, let's go to the gold contract because the bottom line, we're talking about this last week. And, you know, the bottom line is that uh, it the thing that was intriguing. OK, so if you're in front of a machine this morning, what you had out here is that the dollar had already moved and gold was only down three dollars. And I'm saying to myself, this ain't going to fly, man. It's just, you know, you're not going to see the dollar up a thousand ticks. You know, hey, listen, it could have happened. There's no doubt. Bottom line, uh, gold's down. It's down with big volume. And I suspect we probably, let me put the GLD up. We probably have an ABC down. Let's put this GLD up. Okay, so let's see what this is busting. Put this on a weekly. Okay, so, well, next move down is 157. You're at 164. Yeah, lower price is coming at us, man. I mean, big time. Now, let's go to King Dollar and take a look at King Dollar. And you see King Dollar, folks, uh, the bottom line, this 121 is game, uh, and it's game in spades. I mean, this thing just took apart the swing point like a piece of butter. You know, 105, uh, 788 is the swing. And when you do take a look at this, you know, at the end of the month, it, it closed over it. It closed over those three tops. And that's saying that, you know, the next swing uh, is 121. So 121 is coming at us. And the thing that's amazing is that, so picture this. Uh, don't, okay, uh, the 121, folks, that's when I started the gold report, and that was in 2001. Is that crazy? We're at 2022, and of course, you know, bottom, this is a clean break, man. This is a clean break. Uh, your downdraft, the bottom of that downdraft is 108, going all the way back to 2002. 
So my take is that that's where we're going, man. We're going up there, and of course, that is going to take all asset values that are priced in dollars uh, to lower lower price. That's what it comes down to. The correlation is pretty direct. And what you're going to see out here, oil is an ABC structure down. You got your A point is 120, almost 121. Your B's, that's yeah, about 20 A to B, which is going to get you uh, 94. And right now you're at 99. Yeah, more than likely, the, the, the major swing is down here at 91. I suspect it's going to go to 91. If we take a look at this, let me just look at this for a second. So if I take this, this might be even heavier than that. One second. Take this. Yeah, this is a problem, man. What is this? Holy cow. So you, we, we broke with conviction, man. That's the bottom line. You broke with conviction. So... The bottom of this is 92 bucks, man. You break 92 and we're going to go a lot lower. That's how it's shaking out. Some of the higher volume equities out here today. Uh, we have uh, Advanced Micro is up 94 cents. You got uh, Carnival up 44. Amazon's up 374. NVIDIA's up 374. These aren't big numbers, by the way, um, <laughs> for being down. Uh, what, this is what, well, hey, let me go through the rest of these first. You got Occidental uh, down uh, two bucks. The... Let's see, uh, Freeport Mac Moran's down another $1.75. You got Micron up $2. We got Tesla up 12. And let's get over, I wanna, I wanna get to Freeport Mac Moran. Let's take a look at this. Uh, okay, so FCX, this is, so copper really start getting hit before the rest of these commodities, folks. And, okay, so this is six months. You're down from 51 to 27. We put this on a monthly. It's in tough shape, that's for sure. It was a one-way route all the way up, and now it's all the way back. So the longer this thing stays under 29.97, the more that, okay, it can get back to this uh, $20 level. It's pretty intense, man. 877-927-6648. You stay right there, folks. You get our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, coming back with us. He's going to be growling and prowling with us. We have the Dow. The Dow Industrials right now are down 219. NASDAQ's up 146. S&Ps are up 4.5. We'll come right back, folks.